Good day and welcome to today's class. Today's class will be our first mathematics class for those in GSS2. In today's class, we shall be looking at the curriculum for mathematics in GSS2. We have looked at the curriculum for mathematics in GSS1 and it is not much different from that of GSS2. They both have the same themes and sub themes and similar topics. GSS2 curriculum is a continuation of our GSS1 um, curriculum. Most of the topics you see in GSS2 is a continuation or are continuations of that which you have been uh, taught in GSS1. So for the GSS2 curriculum, is divided into themes. And these themes are further divided into sub-themes. And from the sub-themes, we derived our topics. So for GSS2, we have themes like numbers and numerations. We have basic operations, as same of, as GSS1. We also have algebraic processes, mensuration and geometry, and everyday statistics. Now, under numbers and numeration, we have the sub-themes, whole number and fractions, as same as what we have in GSS1. But the topics are quite different. Now, for whole numbers, we also have whole numbers in GSS2. But the whole numbers you are going to be taught in GSS2 is far different from what you were taught in GSS1, but rather is a continuation of what you were taught in GSS1. In GSS1, we were taught whole numbers, under whole numbers, we were taught counting in millions and billions, also in trillions, and we did some quantitative reasonings. In GSS2, under whole numbers, you will be exposed to content like whole numbers being expressed in standard form, having known how to write numbers in billions, trillions, and quadrillions, you shall be taught how to express these larger numbers in standard forms, as well as decimal numbers, which are smaller numbers in standard forms. You will also look at a summary of prime factors, prime factorization, LCM, HCF, squares, and square roots. So you agree with me that the whole number in GSS2 is a continuation of the whole number in GSS1. Also, in fractions, you introduce into fractions in GSS1, where we taught you types of fractions, the proper fractions, the improper fractions, and all what not. In GSS2, under fractions, you are also going to be looking at how to express fractions as ratios, also as decimals and percentages. Then we shall take some quantitative reasonings on fractions, rationals, and percentages. So that is what you will be exposed to in GSS2. So under numbers and numerations, we have two topics in GSS2. While for the basic operations, we have topics like transactions in the homes and offices. We have approximation, which is also a higher uh, or a continuation of what you were taught in GSS1. We we'll also expose you to multiplication and division of directed numbers. So we have approximately one, two, and three topics under the basic operations. All these are continuations from where we stopped at the GSS1. Under algebraic processes, you also do more on algebraic expressions, simple equations, linear inequalities, and graph. So we have four topics under algebraic processes. Under mensuration as a team, we have the sub team shapes. And topics from shapes, we have plane figures or shapes. We also be exposed to triangles, bearings, and more on construction. So we have also four topics to be treated under the theme mensuration and geometry. Also in GSS2, under everyday statistics, you will be exposed to data, presentation, and probability. Two topics. All these are continuations from what you were taught in GSS1. Now, what happens when you didn't finish your curriculum in GSS1? There's going to be a lacuna, there's going to be a vacuum between GSS1 and GSS2. So it is appropriate that you go back to GSS1 
finish all the curriculums or all the topics you are supposed to treat in GSS 1 before treating those in GSS 2. So this channel is to help you bridge that gap between those topics you did in GSS 1 and GSS 2. If there's a gap between what you did in GSS 1 and, GS and entering GSS 2, this channel will help you cover up all those topics that was not done. Or rather, if you were having issues in GSS 1, with this guide, you should be able to cover up what you have in GSS 2 so as to flow well in GSS 2. So for GSS 2, we have approximately, let's count the number of topics. This is 2 plus 3, which is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. And 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 plus 2 is 15. So we have approximately 15 topics for you to do in GSS2. And when you divide our 15 topics by 3 terms, you are going to have 5 topics per term. So approximately, you will have 5 topics to be done in first term, 5 topics to be done in second term, and 5 topics to be done in third term. Now, for those of you who at the beginning of this session is being admitted into a new school, what is appropriate for you to do is to compare what you did in your previous school in first in GSS 1 and see if you were able to finish all the topics. If you are not able to finish the topic, kindly refer to our GSS 1 topics so as to um, study what you need to know before entering GSS 2. Otherwise, this becomes a problem to you. And also, I would like to recommend, if you are in GSS 2 and you are still having problems with whole numbers or under the theme numbers and numeration, I would advise you to revise the topic under numbers and numeration in GSS 1 because it definitely means that you are still having issues with GSS 1 topic. And same thing goes with other topics. So when you do this, it becomes an easy ride for you for you to transit from GSS 1 to GSS 2. Kindly like our videos as you watch. Why we recommend that you subscribe to our channels if you are yet to do so. Also turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. You can also use the comment section to interact with me to let me know how you feel about this class. Also, we recommend that you share the link with your friends and families so that they can also benefit from this class. For more content on mathematics like this, follow me for more. Thank you and do have a nice day.